Let's have a look at the new unwrap command inside of Autodesk Inventor 2020. The new tool allows us to flatten components that might not necessarily flatten using traditional sheet metal components. So in this example, we've got a component which is imported from a third party CAD system. You'll see that we've got no model history over here. And we've got no information about these ribs over here. So they would probably not flatten using a normal sheet metal flatten. So we can use the unwrap tool. The unwrap tool allows us to click on a face. Uh, it automatically does a face chain for us. So it's selected all of the adjacent faces and it creates a flattened design for us. Now, before we accept this result, we can make some minor changes. But it's worth noting that we get a nice heat map showing us the areas of maximum deformation inside of the component. And you'll see that, for instance, the circle at the top here is not perfectly round. So we can go back to our model and we can choose a rigid result. And I can choose that round hole over there. And you'll see that the flat updates quite nicely now showing a perfectly round hole. We've also got options for choosing using a linear result, which would mean that we could choose an edge and it would give us a straight edge. But in this example, we're interested in the middle being perfectly round. We'll select that and we'll say OK. Our result is a our result is a surface body, which we can then right click on and export face as and send it out to DXF, for instance. Another example, something really crazy. Click on the unwrap tool, choose a face. Give the algorithm a few seconds to do its magic. And there we have our flattened surface created for us in a matter of seconds. It's also worth noting that as we create these unwraps, we also get some default views created. So if we have a look under our views, you'll see that there's an unwrap shown. This allows us to go to the unwrap and we can even go to the surface and set this as translucent. And we can then shoot back and forward between these by just going into the views. So if we go back to the views over here, we've got our unwrap selected, we can go back to the default view and perhaps we want to turn off the visibility of the unwrap. We can always go back to it using these views. Thank you.